Hello and welcome to Lady Wisdom Speaks Garden. There's so much to show you. Look at these beautiful petunias in this pot. I found these two pots. Look at them. I purchased these two azalea plants from Home Depot and they look like topiary to me. I'm going to create a topiary. Here's the other one. Yes, I'm going to create a topiary uh, plant with these azaleas. I saw someone on YouTube making topiary uh, of shrubs and these cost five dollars. Why not? And I hope that it just comes out really, really well. But things just blooming here now in the end of July. I am just excited about this end of July. I have my lilies. I have my day lilies. Um, my gladiolas. my uh, angel trumpet yes and so many wonderful things have happened this particular month the garden is just blooming and flush do you see all of that so beautiful the lilies and the hydrangea is holding up. This hydrangea shrub is on the side garden in the front, but it looks so spectacular, don't you think? The roses, some more oriental lilies there, and the garden is just in one beautiful bloom. So come with me as we tour the garden and look at the flower beds and enjoy the eye candy today here on Lady Wisdom Speaks Garden. Around 7.30 in the evening, I looked out at my deck, and there were two beautiful additional blooms on my angel trumpet tree. I was so curious. I had to go and see what was up. They have opened up. Look at that. Yes. And not just one, but two. Look at that. Well, these two haven't yet. <laughs> But this one over here as well. Three. Look at that. They've opened up. And then of course the one from before is here. Wow. So now it has company. Look at that. I am truly impressed. Oh, it's so gorgeous. And soon, this is the first, um, this is the first flow of blooms on this angel trumpet tree. And later on in the season, the whole tree will be filled with blossoms, blooms. I am so excited. This one seems to have a little pink tinge in advance. I don't know if it's coming across here, but it just appears that way. Look at this. Absolutely beautiful. Let me back up so you can get the full effect. Isn't that pretty? That's why I love to garden. About seven o'clock the next day, 
I looked and there they were again. It is early morning and I just had to come out and see how these trumpet blossoms have turned color since last night. So come with me as we go over to the tree. That beautiful that is so exciting this one the first one that opened up is holding up nicely but look how beautiful that has it has become it's getting a little more deeper in color just swaying in the breeze there I like each phase of the blossoms. You can see it from when it is about to open and then to actually opening up and filling the tree with its beauty in this beautiful morning. Uh, it just rained last night, so everything is so fresh. how the leaves at the top are just standing erect. I love it in the morning because that's exactly what happens. Everything is full and hydrated. The leaves are, are erect and the blossoms are just full with moisture. Let me stand back a little bit so you can get another view. Just beautiful. Just absolutely gorgeous. When I turned, the yellow flowers caught my attention and I had to stop and observe this bed too. Now this bed is just taken on a different turn. And now the yellow flowers just standing above. Adding more depth to the bed. They're so beautiful. Over here by this bed, I saw some hummingbirds and they love this bee bomb. I hope that I'd be able to capture the hummingbirds so that you can see them in the garden. It has been so beautiful. This corner of the garden is developing a strong presence of flowers. And even back here with the bunny, I noticed that the flowers in the container, these, oh, beautiful marigolds, and the petunias. I think I need to take you to see the rest of the garden. Come with me. In the meantime, the garden is just looking so spectacular and the flowers. So I'm going to take you through the flower bed so that you can see all of the different flowers. Hallelujah. That are coming alive and coming awake in my garden.
as I was walking to another section of the garden, I had to stop and enjoy the gladiolas. And there's some more gladiolas here planted in the front garden. I had to see how they were coming along. Now this side bed, this side garden is just filling out so beautifully. It's like they've gotten a second wind of beauty and I just love it. Front garden or side garden is really taking on a life of its own. It's actually like getting a second wind of beauty. I love how the squash plant is just trailing through this bed. New things are popping up in the garden. I don't know if you can see back here. It's kind of windy. But my purple phlox. about to show and it gets really full and beautiful and then of course the lilacs have decided to rebloom they are so beautiful and they're just coming out with such great color the lilac bush is also oh my god i think i see a um a what is it called hummingbird Oh, do you see it? Hummingbird, hummingbird, hummingbird. Oh my god. Did you see that? I hope I captured the hummingbird. Anyway, yeah. They are here in the garden. And back there, I have a. Um, What do they call it? I am just so amazed with the hummingbird showing up. Mm -hmm. yeah. Hummingbirds in my garden. Look at this. The cucumbers are showing. They're growing. Everything's just looking very lush and alive this morning. Well, here's a white zinnia. That's different. That's new. And my zinnia patch is getting larger. Mm -hmm. some new zinnias in here. Oh, look at this blessing. The lily, oriental lilies. I planted these lily bulbs here from the back and put them in the front garden. And they're opening up now. This is beautiful. Now, this hydrangea tree is really starting to perform. Look at that. This other 
thing that's above it is going to have some red berries and it's going to be pretty I think together I was thinking of cutting it down um, quickly but I don't think I'm going to do that because it's blending in with this other shrub and I like that giving height to the garden. The front garden is awakening also. The petunias here are getting larger amongst the peppers. There's some verbena. But the petunias have decided to actually express themselves. <laughs> It's such joy. Look at this. And this is a little rose bush that I bought a long time ago. I cut it out and yet it refuses to die. It shows up anyhow. Look at that. Here's the other side of the bed in the front garden. Aren't they beautiful? This is Vinca. How does that Vinca in here? And they are looking so happy. I haven't shown you this, but Here's my pumpkin, not pumpkin, watermelon patch. I haven't seen anything yet, but it has been flowering. Hopefully I will get some watermelons. I did last year. It was delicious. The flowers are just coming together. I really love the red and white impatience, how they're blending so well together. And the flower bed is uh, just popping. Look at that. There's something special about this time of the year, this time of summer, when everything is so alive. This bed is also very colorful too as well. And I really like these sun and patience. Check out my bush beans. They are about to give me some spring beans. But look at that. What intense color. Do you hear the birds? They're so excited. Wow. This is looking so beautiful. I love this. They're filling out and they seem very happy. Very, very happy here. My impatience. Yeah. It's 
just very happy here. And these zinnia seeds, I hope they come up. I see some of them. Even if like four or five of them come up, that would be great of the zinnia. I can see them really giving this bed that fall color. This is the spread from this angle. Now I planted these glads here. I don't know if these are the other glads that should be coming up. I don't see anything. Maybe they will surprise me. Look at this. You almost see that path. Very pretty. Well, if you like this video, then like, share, and subscribe. August is coming, so let's just enjoy this moment. Enjoy this time in the garden and enjoy all of the flowers. Yes, like, share, and subscribe, and join me in Lady Wisdom Speaks Garden. Visit me at Lady Wisdom Speaks Garden YouTube. Subscribe. Yes, have a great day. Remember to subscribe to Lady Wisdom Speaks Academy on YouTube. Be blessed.